in this video we are going to see write a assembly language program for the sum of an array what is our problem here write an assembly language program to determine the sum of element in an array first we are going to analyze our problem declare the content of one of the register as a sum okay declare the content one of the register as a sum and take initial value for the sum as zero first we are going to take the initial value for sum as is equal to zero the sum of elements of array can be obtained by adding the elements of array 1 by 1 to sum okay the number of byte in a array can be used as count for the number of addition to be performed the carry in each addition can be separately added in a register and saved as a high byte of sum now we are going to write the algorithm for this program okay first we are going to load the count value in cl register okay the count value in cl register because of cl is the uh, cl is the one general purpose register is a count register that's why we are going to load the count value here this initialize ax as a zero if initialize ax as a zero the ax registers value becomes zero this initialize bx value is also zero then load the address of an array in si register okay the load the address of an array in si register this load the byte of array to bl register load the byte of array in bl register add ax and bx registers value this increment the si memory location you increment the si memory location initially that value become 1000 now we are going to increment that value into 1001 1001 okay clear this decrement of cl register value by 1 decrement of the cl register value by 1 we are going to take the 6 byte of array we are going to take the 6 byte of array then the cl value is equal to 06 the cl value is equal to 06 we are going to account the 6 values okay each and every cycle the decrement of cl register value by 1 the next cycle its value decrease by 1 that is a condition here okay if the cl value become 0 what is going to happen then go to the next step what is the next step the di register addresses can be loaded and the ax value to be moved into the di register okay the ax value is moved into the di memory location the final answer of ax is moved into the di location this is the array of addition if the cl value is not equal to 0 what is going to happen load a byte of array in bl register load a byte of array in bl register what is the meaning of that one here this address is 101 this 101 contain the one particular array of data this data is moved into the bl registers this bl register after that we are going to perform the addition of ax and bx until the cl value become 0 until the zero value become 0 this operation this repeating operation can be performed repeat operation can be performed now we are going to see the flow chart okay first we are going to start the program first load the byte count in cx register load the byte count in cx register next clear ax register into zero next clear bx register into zero we are initializing the first ax and bx register into zero value okay next load the address of data in si register which address we are going to load our data this address can be loaded into the si register we now in this program i am going to write take this thousand as our address okay next load the si register byte into the bl register load the si register byte into the bl register what is the meaning of that one particular memory location is contain some value that value is move into the bl register next what is the next step we are going to addition of ax and bx value okay next increment the byte pointer value increment the byte pointer value here which one is the byte pointer value si is a byte pointer value we are going to increment the byte pointer value next decrement the byte count decrement the byte count if next here we are going to check the cl value equal to 0 that means the count value is equal to 0 if it is a count value is equal to 0 what is going to happen load the address of result in di register here we are going to load the address here we are going to load the address of the result address of the result okay then the store the sum in memory location the store in sum in memory location uh, already the sum values present already some values present in this ax register this value is moved into the particular memory location if 
this count value is not equal to zero what is going to happen the step can be repeat till cl is equal to zero okay now we are going to write the program what is the first step the first step of the program we are going to take the count value we are going to take the count value here we are going to take the five array we are going to take the five array that's why this value in load into the cx register that value is load into the cx register what is the next step bx and cx value can be initialized into the zero that's why we are going to move zero value into ax register and zero value into bx register what is the next step we are going to take the it is a byte pointer byte pointer address this is a byte pointer address this is the byte pointer address byte pointer address is equal to is move into the it is can be stored in this si register that is a source index register here repeat why you are going to use this repeat here this is the jump no zero okay if you are going to check the jump zero value if not equal to zero is is go move into the this step this move into the this step that's why here he is mentioned as a repeat here this repeating operation can be performed from here what is the next step we are move bl comma si this particular si memory location is contain some data some contain some data this data is move into the bl register this data is move into the bl register what is the next step we are going to addition of this ax and bx the answer will be stored in this ax register the answer will be stored in this ax register then the increment of si initially the si value become 1000 now this increment by 1001 next decrement of cx what is the meaning of that cx value cs value is initially is 5 now with this value is decremented by 4 okay until cx value is equal to 0 this uh, process can be repeatedly done this process can be repeatedly done what is the necessary move di comma 1011 what is the meaning of that this is a designation memory location the output can be stored in this particular memory location this address can be loaded into designation in text this address can be loaded into designation in text the final answer of the ax can be moved into the particular memory location move into the particular memory location finally terminate the program this is the program of sum of array now we are going to explain with example in this example in this example i will take cx value is equal to 6 cx values initial cx value is become 6 the uh, the cx value become 6 means we are going to perform the 6 iteration we are going to perform the 6 iteration the first data can be stored in this particular memory location this memory location value stored in this si source index value source index value 1000 is contain the value of 12 1001 is contain the value of 47 1002 is contain the value of c2 1003 is contain the value of f5 1004 is contain the value of 47 1005 is contain the value of 56 now we are going to add this array now we are going to add this array we are going to add this byte 1 by 1 this byte 1 by 1 okay now the first iteration the initial iteration the cx value become 06 what is the next step the si value become 1000 in the 1000 value is contain the value of 12 this 12 value is move from our program the 12 value that means 1000 memory location value is move into the bl register what is the next step initially the ax value become 0 the bx value is equal to 0012 this is the bl value okay the bh value is equal to 00 that the bl value becomes 12 that why bx value is equal to 0012 okay 0012h now we are going to add with the ax plus bx the result is 0012 it can be stored in this ax register it can be stored in this ax register next what is next iteration next iteration the cx value become 5 the cx value become decrement and si value becomes increment okay until the cx value becomes 0 this si value becomes increment and cx value becomes cx value becomes decrement this time the si value becomes 1001 the 1001 is contain the value of 47 the 1001 the memory location is contain the value of 47 this 47 is moved into the bl register next we are going to add ax plus bx bx contain the value of 0047 and ax is already contain the value of 0012 the result is 0059h 0059h next iteration the cx value is a 4 the cx value is the 4 okay we have because of the, in this iteration the cx value become decrement si value become increment 1002 is a contain the value of c2 c2 is move into the bl register uh, the bx value is contain the value of 
C2H. X is already contain the value of 0059 because of previous output, previous sum value stored in this AX register. Then we are going to perform the addition of this two number. The addition of this two number, the result is 011BH. 011BH. This value is stored in this AX register. Next iteration, the CX value becomes 0. SI value becomes 1003, the increment of the SI value. This SI value is 1003 contain the value of F5. This F5 is uh, move into the BL register. The FI is move into the BL registers. Next, we are going to add with this AX. This is all the previous result. Okay. We add with the previous result. The previous result is 011BH. We add with this BX value. The answer is 0210H. This value can be stored in this AX register. Next, I region the CX value becomes 2. The SI value becomes incremented by 1. That's why this 1004, the 1004 contains the value of 47. This 47 is moving to the BL register. This BL register value, that means the BX register's value is added with the previous result. The previous result is stored in this AX register. The output is stored in this AX register. The output is 0 to 5H. The output is 0 to 5H. Next iteration, the CX value becomes decremented by 1. That's why that value becomes 0, 1. Okay, SI value is incremented by 1. That's why that value becomes 1005. Okay, so 1005 contains the value of 56. This 56 value is moving to the BL register. Now we are going to perform the addition of BX and previous result. The previous result value is available in this AX registers. We are going to perform the addition. The output of this addition is 0 to ADH. It is available in this AX register. It is available in this AX register. Okay, what is the next step? Final step. Here, next step, the CX value becomes 0. CX value becomes 0. What is going to happen? Next, we are going to check jump no 0. If the jump no 0 is here, then what is going to uh, happen? The, memory, the DI memory location is contain the value of 1011. This value, okay, 1011. This is the memory address for the designation. This is the memory address for our result. Our result can be stored in this memory address. Our result can be stored in this memory address. What is our result? Our result is available in this AX register. Our result is available in this AX register. Now the result can be moved into the particular memory location 1001. That means the lower order byte can be stored in this 1011 and the higher order byte can be stored in this 1012. This is our result. Okay, look at this. The output is equal to 1011 is contain the value of AD and 1012 contain the value of 02. Now we are going to execute this program by using this emulator. This is the emulator. This is our program. I just copy and paste this program. Here the CX value. In this example, I will take the CX value become 6. Okay, CX value become 6. Now we are going to emulate this program. Now we are going to emulate this program. What is the first step? The 06 value, the 06 value is moved into the which location, which we move into the which location? Into CX location. Before that, I am load into our, our data in the memory. Our, uh, first, we are going to load our data into the memory. So our memory location is 1000. Okay, in this 1000 memory location is contain the value of 12. 1001 contain the value of 47. Next, C2, F5. 47 plus 56. This is our memory. Our array of data is available in this memory address. This is available in this memory address. Now we are going to execute by program. What is the first step? Move CX value comma is equal to sorry. Move CX comma 06. What is the meaning? 06 value is moved into the CX register. Okay. Now first execute that one. Okay. CX value is equal to 0006. What is the next step? AX is equal to 4, we are clearing the AX value. Okay, already is a 0. Next, clear the BX value is already 0. Next, SI. That means the 1000 value is moved into the SI. Okay, this is the sorting address. This is the sorting SI value becomes 1000. Okay, now this 1000 is contain the value of which value is the 12. Okay, this is the 12 is available in this memory location 1000. Now, this 1000 value is moved into the BL register. Now, move into the BL register. Now, we are going to perform the addition of AX comma BX. AX contains the value of 0, 0 and BX contains the value of 1, 2. What is the result? The answer is 12. The 12 value can be stored in this AX register. The 12 value can be stored in this AX register. This is the addition of this number. The answer is 12. Now we are going to increment the SI value. SI value becomes 1001 
and decrement the cx value cx value becomes 5 now we are going to check the cx value the cx value becomes not equal to 5 that's why the uh, the step can be repeat okay what is the next step the 1002 sorry 1001 it's contain the value of 47 is moved into the bl register and we are going to by addition of this two number the result is 59 is stored in this ax register then increment of the si value then decrement of the cx value then check the cx value is not equal to 0 then we are moved into the move bl comma si this now the c2 values move into the bl register now we are going to add a pair from the addition of ax comma bx the result is 0 1 1 b now we are going to increment the si value now we are going to decrement the cx value now we are going to check once again as like that we are going to perform the addition of this number till the cx value becomes 0 once the cx value becomes 0 what is going to happen now the cx value is equal to 0 what is going to happen now the address 1011 address is moved into the di register di register this is the di register value is equal 1011 1011 this this is the address of our result okay now ax register value is moved into the particular memory location the ax value is moved into the particular memory location the memory location address is 1011 it is available in this di register now we are going to simulate the ad 0 to this is the thousand and this is 1010 this is 1011 this is 1012 ad and 02 is available here this is the lower order byte this is the higher order byte we are getting the answer like this okay thank you